us and I'm not praise. <laughs> Reading from verse 1. Chapter 3. The book of Ephesians. Kitabu Waraka kwa Efeso. From verse 1. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if indeed you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which was given to me for you, how that the by revelation he made known to me the mystery as I have briefly written already by which when you read you may understand my knowledge in the ministry, mystery of Christ which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it has now been revealed by the spirit to his holy apostles and prophets that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel, of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working of his power. To me, who am less than the least of all saints, this grace has, was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery, mystery which from the beginning of the ages was hid, was, has been hidden in God who created all things through Jesus Christ. 
to the intent that now be the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places according to the intent purpose which he purposed, he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him therefore I ask that you do not lose hope at my tribulation for you which is your glory. For this reason, for this cause, again, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he should grant you according to his riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through the spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in you in your hearts through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, length and depth and hired to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundant above all that we think we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kwa sababu hiyo, mimi Paulo ni mfungwa wake, Kristo Yesu, kwa jili eno nini mataifa. Ikiwa mmesikia habari ya uwakili, wanema ya mungu niliopewa kwa jili eno, ya kwamba, kwa kufunuliwa na lijulishwa siri hiyo, kama nilivotangulia kwa andika kwa maneno machache. Kwa hayo, miasomapo, mtaweza kuutambua ufamu wangu katika siri yake Kristo. Siri hiyo hawakujulishwa wanadamu katika vizazi vingine kama walivyofunuliwa mitume wake watakatifu na manabii zamani hizi katika roho. Ya kwamba mataifa ni warithi pamoja nasi wa urithi mmoja na wa mwili mmoja na washirika washiriki pamoja nasi wa ahadi yake iliyo katika Kristo Yesu kwa njia ya injili. Injili hiyo ambayo nalifanywa mhudumu wake kwa kadiri ya kipawa cha neema ya Mungu niliopewa kwa kadiri ya utendaji wa uweza wake mimi niliye mdogo kuliko yeye aliye mdogo wa watakatifu wote nalipewa neema hii ya kuwahubiri mataifa ujasiri wake Kristo usiopimika na kuangaza watu wote wajue habari za madaraka ya siri hiyo ambayo tangu zamani zote ilisitirika katika Mungu aliyeviumba vitu vyote ili sasa kwa njia ya kanisa hekima ya Mungu iliyo ya namna nyingi julikane na falme na mamlaka katika ulimwengu wa roho kwa kadiri ya kusudi la milele aliyolikusudia katika Kristo Yesu bwana wetu katika yeye tunao jasiri na uwezo wa kukaribia katika tumaini kwa njia ya kumwamini basi naomba msikate tamaa kwa sababu ya dhiki zangu kwa ajili yenu zilizo utukufu kwenu. Kwa hiyo nampigia baba magoti ambaye kwa jina lake ubaba wote wa mbinguni na wa duniani unaitwa awajalieni kwa kadiri ya utajiri wa utukufu wake kufanywa imara kwa nguvu kwa kazi ya roho wake katika utu wa ndani. Kristo akae mioyoni mwenu kwa imani mkiwa na shina na msingi katika upendo ili mpate kufahamu pamoja na watakatifu wote jinsi ulivyo upana na urefu na kimo na kina na kuujua upendo wake Kristo upitao ufahamu kwa jinsi ulivyo mwingi mpate kutimilika kwa utimilifu wote wa Mungu basi atukuzwe yeye awezae kufanya mambo ya ajabu mno kuliko yote tuyaombayo au tuyawazayo kwa kadri ya nguvu itendayo kazi ndani yetu nam atukuzwe katika kanisa na katika Kristo Yesu hata vizazi vyote vya milele na milele amina let us pray tuombe 
Father, we thank you Baba, for the reading of your word. I pray that you shall open our minds, open our hearts as we look in this way. Open the hearts of your people. Let us be receptive and sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Release your Holy Spirit. Set us on fire to preach this glorious gospel. Help each and every member of the city Christian center that he can, that he can preach witness this glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. We thank you for this opportunity. Grant us the hearing of the ways. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My message today na ujumbe wangu leo hii committed to preaching the gospel, glorious gospel kujitoa kwa ajili ya kuhubiri injili yenye utukufu of Jesus Christ injili ya Yesu Christ despite all persecution licha ya mateso yote this gospel injili hii called glorious Gospel. Friends, the gospel is a story. Rafiki, injili ni simulizi. The sweetest story ever told ni mankind. Ni simulizi iliyo tamu kuliko zote kwa wanadamu. It is good news. Ni habari njema. It is the grace of God. Ni neema ya mungu. Sent down to sinful mankind. Ambayo sent down to sinful mankind. Ambayo ilipelekwa kwa mwanadamu mwenye dhambi. It is the story all right. Ni sawa ni simulizi. But don't forget that this son of of God this story is about the son of God. Lakini usisahau kwamba simulizi hii yahusu mwana wa Mungu. It is the story of the one who slept in the air, open air. Ni simulizi ya yeye aliye lala nje tu. And his hair kissed the morning dew. Na nywele zake zikalowesha na umande wa asubuhi. Haleluya. Haleluya. And yet for him lakini hata hivyo kwake yeye the heavens were open mbingu zilikuwa wazi a voice of god thundered from heaven na sauti ya mungu ikanguruma toka mbinguni this is my beloved son ikisema ya kwamba huyu ndiye mwanangu mpendwa wangu hear ye him msikieni yeye haleluya haleluya brother some some sermons are made na wapendwa baadhi ya mahubiri yameandikwa others are born lakini nyingine zimezaliwa some we work na wengine tunafanyia kazi at we work at long and hard na wakati mwingine tunafanyia kazi kwa juhudi na some we throw all together na but some we just throw all together na nyingine tu tunawarushia tu watu others are born out of the touch of God that is deep and moving. This is the story of his glory of Jesus Christ. The story tells us of the fall of man and tells us how and by what methods we can be delivered. The story makes one sing in the death chamber. Makes one sing in the death 
na chemba. simulizi yamfanya mtu aimbe wakati amehukumiwa kunyongwa and, the, and praise god in the darkest point na kumsifu mungu katikati ya giza kinene this is the story that has caused men and women to cast aside their life their lives in, in the lives that in order to proclaim the glorious news good news hii ni simulizi ambayo imewasababisha waume kwa wanawake kuyasahau maisha yao ili waweze kuhubiri habari hii njema. And to tell the world na kuambia ulimwengu that man has been redeemed from the fall. Kwa maana ana ukombozi kutoka katika anguko lake. That he has a hope na kwamba lipo tumaini that reaches beyond the present time ambalo linaevuka mbali zaidi ya wakati wa sasa the centuries have come and gone maana karne zimekuja na kupita but they have not diminished lakini kamwe hailija the glory of the story ule utukufu wa simulizi hii and jesus christ na yesu kristo is still the same the one who causes the head hearts of men to rise up bearing a banner that declares Jesus Christ is the savior of the dying world. Yesu Kristo ndiye yeye anasababisha mioyo ya watu kuinua bango linalotangaza ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ndiye mwokozi wa ulimwengu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Ephesus. In the book of Ephesus. Katika kitabu hiki cha Waefeso. This epistle was written by the apostle Paul. Waraka huu uliandikwa na Paulo Mtume. He was in prison in Rome. Alikuwa jela kule Rumi. He says Paul an a, a, a prisoner of Jesus. Anasema ya kwamba Paulo mfungwa wa Yesu. Not Paul a prisoner of Nero. Nero. Na sio Paulo fungwa wa nero and look at these waves hebu sikiliza maneno yake the first three waves hebu haya maneno ya kwanza have touched my heart so deeply today yamegusa sana moyo wangu leo these three waves maneno haya matatu he says for this cause anasema kwa sababu hii for this reason na kwa sababu hii these waves have gripped my heart so much this morning Maneno haya yameukamata moyo wangu sana sana asubuhi. Brothers, if you want to know the answer, na wapendwa kama mwataka kujua jibu, just uncover the cause. Hebu funua tu ile sababu. Get hold of it. Hebu ishikilie sababu. Understand it. Hebu ielewe sababu. Let it burn in your soul. Na ikawake moto nafsini mwako. And you will be fired to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nawe utachochewa kuihubiri injili ya Yesu. You see Paul was a man of vision. Paulo alikuwa ni mtu wa maono. He was gripped with a divine revelation. Alikamatwa na ufunuo ule wa kimungu. With a truth. Na akamatwa na kweli. That many of those who were his fellow apostles. Kwamba wengi ambao walikuwa ni hirimu zake au mitume wenzake. Did not and yet understand bado hawakuwa wameielewa then watch him the apostle paul as he marches down through this chapter 3 hebu mtazame paulo mtume anaposogea katika sura hii ya tatu the revelation of the almighty god ufunuo utokao kwa mungu mwenyezi is poured umemiminwa out from his heart ndani ya moyo wake and finally he made his way na hatimaye akapata njia yake to the 14th verse na kuishia mstari ule wa 10 and once again we see this cause na hapo anasema ya kwamba tunaona ile sababu for this cause na kwa sababu hiyo i bow my knees na mpigie baba magoti and proclaim jesus na kumtangaza yesu to be the answer to the need of the suffering mankind kuwa jibu la mahitaji ya wanadamu wanaoteseka then i understood paul a little bit a little bit better i understood paul a little bit better nimeweza kumuelewa paulo zaidi kidogo 
I understood his willingness to suffer and to lay down his life for the sake of Christ. Then I looked at the life of other men in the New Testament to see how they ended their earthly ministry. Whether there was some trials or persecution in their eternal, in this uh, earthly pilgrimage. Then I found out Matthew was murdered by a sword in Ethiopia. Mark was dragged through the streets of Alexandria, Egypt until there was no life in his body for the cause of the gospel. Luke was hanged in the country of Greece preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. John the writer of the gospel Yohana, muandishi wa injili. the epistles Nyaraka, and the book of Revelation was put in boiling hour Yeye aka reaching that Jesus Christ is the answer to the dying world. He came out akatoka. and he was sent to the island of Potmos he died a natural death in the city of Ephesus. James the Less was thrown from a pinnacle of the temple and then beaten to death by a club. Philip was hanged from a pillar of the temple until he died. Andrew was bound to a cross. Left there to expire. But hour after hour. But he preached Jesus Christ was the only answer to the suffering mankind. Bartholomew called Nathaniel was actually slain alive. They stripped off the skin of his body until he bleeded to death. Jude, the brother of Jesus, was shot to death by arrows for preaching the gospel. Matthias was stoned and then beheaded. Matia alipigwa mawe baadaye na kukatwa kichwa. Barnabas was stoned to death by the Jews. Barnaba alipigwa mawe na Wayahudi hadi kufa. Paul the apostle Paulo aliyemtunga was beheaded at Rome by Nero. Alikatwa kichwa kule Rumi na mfalme Nero. Peter Petru. was crucified with his head down because he did not want to be crucified in the same manner his Lord was saying I'm not worthy. My brothers and sisters why did they undergo such a shame and torture? Because they got a hold of a cause. 
Kwa sababu wao walilishikilia ile sababu. For this cause. Na kwa sababu hii. For this cause. Na kwa sababu hiyo. For this cause. Na kwa sababu hiyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm willing to suffer. Niko tayari kuteswa. For the sake of Christ. Kwa ajili ya Kristo. I read once some time ago of Flores Nightengo. How many know Flores Flores Nightengo? Wakati fulani uliopita nalisoma habari za mwanamke anaitwa Florence Nightingale. A hero of England. Yeye ni shujaa wa Uingereza. How she made her way to the Russia, to Russia. Jinsi ambavyo alikwenda katika nchi ya Urusi. And on the battlefield. Akiwa katika uwanja wa vita. She tended to the wounded soldiers Ali waganga askari waliojeruhiwa and brought about to be what we call the red cross movement na ndipo ikawa ndio kiini au chanzo cha kile tunachoita chama cha msalaba but this morning lakini asubuhi ya leo this morning asubuhi ya leo i am more interested ninavutiwa zaidi in the one who said na yule aliyesema god has anointed me Mungu amenipaka mafuta to heal the wounded hearted people. The great Anderson working all night and day became because of of the cause and commitment he did, he used his bread his hand and discovered a light from electricity. Anderson. Anderson. Anderson yeah. Huyu Anderson alitumia e, utaalamu wake na akili zake zote akabuni umeme. Yes, light from electricity. Na umeme e, kwa ajili ya kuleta taa. But this morning, lakini asubuhi, I know of him. Najua yeye. Who said? Ambaye alisema, I am the light of the world. Mimi ndiye nuru ya ulimwengu. And he that follows me. Yeyote anayenifuata. We will we shall not walk in darkness. Hata kwenda gizani. Because they shall have the light of life. Kwa sababu watapata nuru ya uzima. This is John 8 verse 8 verse 12. Na eh John 8 chapter 8. Yohana sura ya 8 mstari wa 12. Oh it is interesting to follow the works of the geologist kufuatilia matendo ya wale wataalamu wa miamba as he examines this strata wakati akiangalia matabaka ya ardhi of the rocks matabaka ya miamba trying to determine their ages akijaribu kuangalia umri wake but this morning lakini asubuhi hii I'm more interested ninaguswa zaidi in the rock of ages na yule mwamba wa milele and I have found him nami nimempata I've laid my foundation upon him nami nimeweka msingi juu yake the winds may blow pepo zaweza kuvuma the floods may come mafuriko yakaja but my foundation shall be secure lakini msingi hallelujah utakuwa salama hallelujah What is this story? Na simulizi hii nini? It is the story of the glory of Jesus. Ni simulizi ya utukufu wa Yesu. It is that story that bridges eternity and time. Na ni zile simulizi ambayo inajaza umilele oh, hadi umilele. My brothers and sisters. Kwa hiyo ndugu zangu wapendwa. We have life eternal. Tunao uzima wa milele. And whatever happens to this physical body. Na lolote liwalo juu ya mwili huu. Thank God we can live on and on and on and on in the presence Mungu. of the wonderful Lord Jesus Christ. Mungu na ashukuriwe kwa sababu tutaweza kuendelea kuishi na kuishi milele na milele na milele mbele za uwepo wa Bwana wetu wa ajabu Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul says for this cause. Paul anasema kwa sababu hii. Listen to me. Hebu nisikize. He is speaking to a church in Ephesus. Anena na kanisa kule Efeso. He is in prison. Lakini yumo gerezani. Why is he a prisoner? Kwa nini yapokuwa mfungwa? Why is he in chains? Kwa nini amefungwa minyororo? Because he became an ardent exponent of the great cause. Kwa Jesus who died for me has ray has been raised from the dead kwa sababu amekuwa mtangazaji wa mstari wa mbele juu ya 
Yesu yeye yule aliyekufa na kufufuka kutoka katika wao. Not because he was out of God's will. Na si kwa sababu hakufanya mapenzi ya Mungu. But because he was in the perfect will of God. Kwa sababu alikuwa katika mapenzi kamili ya Mungu. He was a proclaimer of a great cause. Alikuwa ni mtangazaji wa ile sababu iliyokuwa. Oh, Paul, what about your regrets? How about your regrets? Na Paulo, ye, tuseme nini juu ya adha zako na majuto yako? How has the mighty fallen? Imekuwaje wenye nguvu wakaanguka? Look where you were before you were enlisted. Hebu tazama ulikuwa wapi kabla hujaingizwa katika baba. Now your back is full of stripes. Hebu tazama mgongo wako sasa umejaa alama za mapigo. You have been hungry. Umekuwa na njaa. You have been shipwrecked. Umevunjikiwa merikebu. You have been in prison. Umetupwa gerezani. You are in chains. Na umefungwa minyororo. What about your regrets? Na tuseme nini sasa juu ya haka yote hiyo? I can't find him speaking of his grace. Na simwoni akizungumzia juu ya adha zake. But he speaks. Lakini anena of grace and liberation Jum. of the unfolding scene of glory after glory of Jesus Christ. Juu ya neema Alleluia. na ufunuo juu ya ule utukufu unaojitokeza wa Yesu Kristo wa Bwana wetu. He is in prison. Ametupwa gerezani. But he is not defeated. Lakini hajashindwa. He is free. Yuko huru. He is in chains. Amefungwa minyororo. But his soul is free. Lakini nafsi yake iko huru. To declare Jesus Christ is the savior of the entire world. Utakaza Yesu Kristo ni mwokozi wa ulimwengu. You cannot change the spirit of a holy ghost filled man. No, brother, you cannot. Wezi kuifunga minyororo roho ya mtu aliyejazwa, roho mtakatifu wa Mungu. Nawe utaweza. For this cause. Na kwa sababu hiyo, I Paul. Mimi Paulo. An apostle of Jesus Christ to you Gentiles. Mtume wa Yesu Kristo kwenu ninyi watu wa mataifa. But tell me Paul. Hebu niambie Paulo what keeps your heart rising high gani kinachokuinua moyo wako what keeps your spirit rising ni kitu gani kinachoinua roho yako in the midst of all these struggles katikati ya mateso yote haya Paul was true to a great cause Paulo alikuwa mwaminifu kwa ajili ya jambo lililo kuu for he wanted to bring about the great cause to the air to the to you and the gentiles world to know Jesus Christ the savior kwa sababu alitaka kulileta jambo hili kuu kwako wewe na kwa mataifa kwao wamjue Yesu Kristo kwa ni mwokozi he says god has appointed me to be an apostle to the gentiles mungu ameniweka kuwa mtume kwa watu wa mataifa to let the gentile world know ili dunia ya mataifa ipate kujua that jesus Christ died for them ya kuwa yesu kristo aliwafia If Paul had failed in his mission, ikiwa Paulo angeshindwa katika jukumu lake, we may still be in sin even today. Hata leo hii bado angezama katika dhambi, not knowing the grace of God. We may be still in sin. Tungelikuwa sisi katika dhambi pasipo kuijua neema ya Mungu. If he had not put the cause above self, kama asigeweka jambo la Mungu zaidi ya ubinafsi It is possible that we might not have been here gathered together. Yawezekana kabisa tusingekuepo mahali hapa tumekusanyika. Luther had a cause. Pao Martin Luther naye alikuwa nayo ile sababu. And he proclaimed justification by faith. Na akatangaza kuokolewa kuhesabiwa haki kwa njia ya imani. If he had been not faithful. Na kama asingebaki kuwa mwaminifu to his call. Kwa sababu ya wito wake probably yawezekana. There would have been no reformation fire burning in Europe pasingelikuepo moto wa matengenezo ukiwaka kule Ulaya there, there would have been no John Knox pasingekuepo mtu anaitwa John Knox there would have been no John Wesley pasingekuepo na mtu anaitwa John Wesley because these people lit their candles upon the fire of Luther 
kwa sababu watu hawa walifuatia yeye au kuosha moto kutokana na ule aliyeosha Luther brothers i feel unworthy kwa hiyo ndugu usitajisikia sister hili to be a messenger of the cross kuwa mjumbe wa msalaba this has gripped my soul so deeply jambo hilo limeukamata moyo wangu sana sana to think that god called me to preach this gospel yaani kujua tu kwamba mungu aliniita mimi niubiri injili to preach this wonderful message niubiri ujumbe huu wa ajabu God in his infinite grace. Na Mungu katika neema yake sio kifaa. He looked down. Akatazama chini. In the third floor. Katika ghorofa ya tatu. Of the city drive. Katika barabara ile. Siku hizi tunaita sokoine drive. And so a young man is his banking career. Akamwona kijana katika taaluma yake ya benki. And said Ranwell. Akasema Ranwell. I've got a higher job for you. Ninayo kazi kubwa zaidi kwa ajili yako. I've got a promotion for you. Nina cheo cha kukupa. A great position for you. Nafasi kubwa kwa ajili yako. You are going to be a preacher. Utakwenda kuwa mhubiri of the glorious gospel of the great God. Wa injili ya utukufu ya Mungu mkuu. In 1993. I graduated from Nairobi University. 1973. In 1973 I joined the National Bank of Commerce. Nilipohitimu chuo kikuu Nairobi nikaingia katika benki ya In 1993 I was born again. Na mwaka wa 1973 In 1973 I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Na mwaka 73 nikajazwa Roho Mtakatifu. In 1973 I married my wife Irene. Na mwaka wa 73 nikafunga ndoa na mke wangu. In 1973 God called me Mungu aliniita to preach this great news kuhubiri habari hizi njema zilizokuwa let the people know that there is a redeemer watu wapate kujua ya kwamba yuko mkombozi who is greater a greater than all their problems ambaye ni mkuu kuliko shida zao zote greater than all their sins kuliko dhambi zao zote greater than all their sicknesses kuliko magonjwa yao yote greater than all the things that perplex them kuliko yote yale yanayowatumbua and it is my prayer kwa hiyo ni maombi yangu that i proclaim this as long as i have got breath nitaanze injili maadamu niko hai to let people know watu wapate kujua that i live i love this redeemer kwamba ninampenda huyu mkombozi and i want to impart this vision to you as well nataka niwekeze maono haya kwako pia When I think of Jesus, ninapomtafakari Yesu, or what he paid to redeem me, kwa gharama aliyolipa kunikomboa, and to redeem you, na kukukomboa wewe, any sacrifice we might have ever ever made is no sacrifice. Kujidhamii upokote kule ambako tumewahi kufanya hakufai kitu. Oh my friends, na rafiki zangu, never have you ever So you have you entered into a garden called Getsemane as dark as Getsemane na kama hujawahi kuingia katika bustani yenye kiza kinene kama Getsemane never in your life kama kabisa katika maisha will you be ever wounded utaweza kujeruhiwa so deeply na kuumizwa sana as a man kama, with a pierced side kama never. With a pierced side. Kama yule aliye tobolewa kwa mkuki ubavuni. Yes, your neighbors may ridicule. Majirani wanaweza kukukebehi. In 1973. Mwaka wa 73. When I was born again. Wakati nilipo okoka. I had a friend in Canada. Na likuwa na rafiki yangu moja nchi ya Canada. Called Ambwene Mwakatumbula. Ana hitu Ambwene Mwakatumbula. And he sent Mwakisara. One of our friends called Mwakisara. Aka mtuma moja wa rafiki zetu wana hitu Mwakisara. When he heard that I'm born again. Alipo sikia kwa maramu ya ni ameokoka. He said Mwakisara go and prove. 
prove if these things are true. By then I was in the third floor of the city drive NBC. He came there and found me. He said, my friend, our friend Ambuene Makastumbula has sent me to prove it is true. Raf- if it is true, you are born again. Rafiki yetu uh, Ambuene Makastumbula amenituma. Nije kuhakikisha kama ni kweli umeokoka. But before I reached here, lakini kabla ya kufika hapa, I've had enough to prove that you are saved. Nimesikia mengi huko kwamba wewe umeokoka. But lakini we have lost a friend. Tumepoteza rafiki. I said, have you lost a friend or I have lost you? Ah, nikamuuliza, je, mmempoteza rafiki au mimi nimewapoteza nyie? This I said, please, I call you where I am. Na nikawaambia tafadhali for this cause I am willing to suffer I am willing to die but Paul you are about to be executed is that the thing that fills your heart high up for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and know what he says now he speaks about the breadth the length the depth and the height of the love of God hallelujah 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 and he declares that we too can know that love that passes all knowledge na anatangaza kwamba na sisi vile vile twaweza kujua ule upendo unaopita fahamu then he moves to an apostolic benediction in verse 21 na katika mstari wa 21 anatoa tamko la kuomba la maombezi ya kitume he says anasema unto him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end amen anasema atukuzwe katika kanisa na katika Kristo Yesu hata vizazi vyote milele hata milele then we get another picture hello tupata taswira in a prison in a prison cell akiwa katika chumba cha gereza He is not right into a church now. Na sasa hayupo kuandikia kanisa. He is right into a young man. Anamuandikia kijana mmoja. Who is following in his footsteps. Ambaye anazifuata nyayo zake. We have the very same words. Na tuna maneno hayo hayo. He says Timothy. Anamwambia Timothy. For this cause. Kwa sababu hiyo. For this cause. Kwa sababu hiyo. I obtained mercy. Ah. I yes. He declares that for a certain cause Jesus Christ showed long suffering in the life of the apostle Paul. Kwa sababu hiyo Yesu Kristo alionyesha uvumilivu katika maisha ya Paulo. For a pattern for those who of us who should follow thereafter in him ili uwe mfano kwetu sisi ambao tutakuja baadaye now if brothers kwa hiyo ndugu if paul could sing in the philippian jail ikiwa paulo aliweza kuimba katika jela kule philippi sure we can sing here this morning hakika na sisi tutaweza kuimba <clears throat> hapa asubuhi ya hallelujah hallelujah and if he can say i count myself happy king agrippa for the chains kama aliweza kusema najihesabu kuwa mwenye furaha ewe mfalme Agrippa hata katika minyororo hii can we cast away all mood of despondency and discouragement and say i count myself happy je to be called kuweka pembeni kila namna ya kuvunjika moyo na kukata tamaa na kusema ya kwamba najihesabu kuwa mwenye furaha to be called by god cry in the wilderness kuitwa na Mungu kupiga kelele jikani repent of your sins hebu mtubu dhambi zenu repent of your sins tuvuni dhambi zenu hallelujah hallelujah i count myself happy najihesabu mwenye furaha 
if he can write letters which we, with this inspiration ikiwa aweza kuandika nyaraka zenye uvuvio wa namna hiyo sure we can go back home hakika tutaweza kurejea nyumbani and proclaim the glorious news that there is a redeemer na kutangaza habari zenye utukufu there is hope in Yakoba. jesus christ yuko mkombozi kuna tumaini katika yesu kristo my brothers and my sisters dada zangu na kaka zangu this is the cause he ndio sababu yenyewe that the waters of persecution could not subdue kwamba hata mateso hayakuweza kuzima that is the light that has refused to go out hiyo ni nuru iliyokataa kuzimika i told you i don't know those were present a story kuna wakati fulani kwa wale ambao walikuepo niliwasimulia a couple who was just married ah uh, wana ndoa ambao ndio walitoka tu kufunga ndoa god bless them with a child na mungu akawabarikia kuwapa mtoto one weekend the husband said i'm going to town na eh, there was they were living outside the town and he said i'm going to the town walikuwa wakiishi nje ya mji kwa hiyo mshoni mwa juma wakati fulani akamwambia mke wake na kwenda huko mjini to buy some provisions ili ninunue mahitaji yes he went over there akatoka na kwenda huko but he didn't return in time lakini yule baba hakurejea kwa muda mwafaka but mwafaka. during the cool of the day na wakati is was wakutwa hiyo nzima the wife began to walk around yule mama mke akaanza kuzunguka zunguka to her dismay na kwa mfadhaiko sana she fell in a well that has been dug open kwa bahati mbaya akajikuta amedungukia katika kisima kilichokuwa wazi and to her surprise na kwa mshangao water begin to rise maji yakaanza kupanda to the knee points yakafika kwenye magoti and to the west point yakafika kwenye kiuno then she raised her baby ndipo wakati amemshika yule mtoto akamuinua juu in those hands katika mikono hiyo juu and backed herself against the wall of the well na akaegama katika ukuta wa kisima and the water continued to rise maji yakaendelea kupanda higher and higher yakapanda juu na juu zaidi until Baka. she was completely submerged akawa amezamishwa kabisa and died na akafa but the baby was still alive in those extended hands lakini yule mtoto bado akawa hai katika mikono ile iliyokuwa imenyoshwa the husband came back yule from the city akarejea akitoka mjini he began to search for his wife akaanza kuzunguka kumtafuta mkewe he walked around that building tembea tembea katika jengo he heard the cry of the baby akasikia kilio cha yule mtoto mchana he went there akatoka na kwenda he found how his wife has died akakuta mke wake amekufa but the baby lakini mtoto is still in those extended hands bado yuko katika mikono ile iliyonyoshwa still alive akiwa hai and he called neighbors and friends akawaita majirani na marafiki they took off the body the baby wakamchukua mtoto from the water kutoka katika maji and they arranged for the funeral na wakaandaa maziko one who was in charge of the funeral na yule alikuwa msimamizi wa mazishi he came to the husband akamwendea yule baba he told him akamwambia we have one problem tuna shida moja those hands have been locked in position ile mikono imengangania hivyo hivyo and they can the whole body cannot fit in the coffin na mwili mzima hauwezi kutosha katika chini for permission wakamuomba ruhusa to break those hands waivunje ile mikono and yake. put them in a position ili kae katika nafasi kama hivi the husband responded yule mume akaitikia no 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 akasema la 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 hacha she looks very natural in those extended hands anaonekana yuko katika hali ya asili katika mikono ile iliyonyoshwa because kwa sababu she has spent all her lifetime kwa sababu ametumia maisha yake yote lifting people to Jesus akiwainua watu kwa Yesu haleluya haleluya brothers wapendwa that is your message and that is my message huo ni ujumbe kwako na ni ujumbe wangu let us bow down and pray hebu tuinamishe vichwa na kuomba
My heavenly Father, Baba yangu wa mbinguni. I have spoken your words. Nimelinena neno lako. May your Holy Spirit now. Ninaomba sasa roho yako mtakatifu. Make it sink deep down in our heart. Akalifanye likazame ndani sana ya mioyo yetu. And prepare us to work. Na kutusukuma kufanya kazi. For missions. Kwa ajili ya misheni. Touch the hearts of your people. Gusa mioyo ya watu wako. I pray. Ninaomba as we embark on missions tunapoingia katika umisheni help us lord tusaidie e1 in jesus name